We're rolling. I'm Ricky Martin. <laughs> and I'm Juan <laughs> Yosef, a Swedish Syrian artist. We are them, but we're just shorter. Listen. Yeah. Hi, it's Nate Burkus and Jeremiah Brent. Hello. Welcome to our LA home. We wanted to give you guys the behind the scenes tour and really show you what the details of the house are and also what's changed. Come on in. Come on in. This is Tucker. Hey, Tuck, say hi. Tuck, say what's up? The banister is actually original to the house and of course we kept all the original architectural details and just kind of added things that we really wanted like this amazing floor and it even has your blood on it. <gasps> I'm um, still bleeding. Yeah, Jared dropped his scissors on his foot this morning. So look, babe, that's amazing. It's your DNA. Ew. Let's go in the library. This used to be our dining room, but we were at dinner with friends of ours in Italy. They brought us into this room after dinner and we just sat there and hung out for like three hours just talking. And the room was filled with objects and books and we thought, wait, why don't we have that? And we changed everything within two days. All of the books actually are in different sections. And so I had these little labels made. They're actually dog tags. This is my library. We drink at five o'clock every day. We drink and read. Yeah, it's perfect. This I would say is one of our favorite things in the house, this mirror, right? It is. So Matthias Reens McGrath, the photographer, he hand makes these pieces so it's an old African mask, an old Venetian mirror, and then shells and some glue. That's DIY. This is our toilet. This was our favorite invoice ever in the entire renovation of this house because the man that we bought it from wrote on the invoice, sink with ears, with ears. Okay, so this was originally, I would imagine, like a little wine cellar or something. This is also our daughter's absolute favorite place to hide. To hide. This is also where I put Nate when he misbehaves. So this is my favorite place in the house. It is kind of the epitome of indoor-outdoor. We really wanted it to feel like you didn't even know that there was glass here, and it's beautiful during the mornings, and it's even more beautiful at night. This is our grown-up room. Everybody has that room when you're growing up that your parents are like, you're not allowed in there. We basically never come in here, but it's the first room you see when you walk through the entry. Old fireplace and old Belgian roof tiles used inside. And then Jer found these awesome, um, what Balls. are they called? Balls. These are Jer's balls. They go in the fireplace. This room we thought we would spend a ton of time in watching movies as a family, hanging out. This is out. Game of Thrones room. We wanted the space to have like a casual luxury to it. And this room is really just a pit. Our daughter can climb all over the sofa. We have play dates with other kids. They can run all over everything. It's outdoor fabric. This is the reason I can't stay on a staple diet. Yeah, this is brutal. You guys check this out. These are so good. What? They really are though, they're so delicious. Back away from the malt balls. Why is everything balls today? There are a lot of balls in the house, babe. <laughs> so you guys, this used to be our, um, like sort of a walkthrough, kind of a gallery. And we had all of the books that you just saw in the library shoved into this cabinet. We had an idea of how we were gonna live in this home. And then after being here for four months, we're like, wow, we don't live this way. We yeah. don't use the space that way. So we shifted things around. You're, you're sitting here and you're enjoying the view of the garden. That's your cue to get that shot later so you can you know, cut to that. This is my uh, great uncle Carl. <laughs> it's not. The thing about this home is there's certain architectural details that we didn't want to change and we just wanted to call more attention to, like this ceiling. It's beautiful, it's super ornate, nothing that we would normally gravitate towards. But it kind of reminds me of our home that we had in New York. All right, where, where to next? You wanna see the yard? I'll show you the tree that made me cry. I like to think of myself as Dr. Doolittle. We inherited all these koi fish and two turtles, whose names are Thelma and Louise. Hi guys. The moment that I knew that this was the place that we would raise our kids is was this, tree. this 300 year old oak tree. We imagined our kids, you know, eventually climbing in that tree. This is where we grow vegetables for our house. This is the first time Nate's been in here, so make sure you zoom in. No, I'm a complete expert. This is broccoli, right? Yes, that's broccoli. This is broccoli. This is all broccoli. This is all broccoli. This is what Poppy wanted for Christmas, a pink baby dollhouse. I mean, have you ever seen more beautiful linens in your entire life? But I have to say, I'm not not on board with this. Check it out. 
Does this work too? I have to push harder. It's not really working. Like good. I said, these are not. Your big girl bed? Come on, guys, you heard her. Here's the, the cat. He must have a nose uh -huh. and ears. Yeah, so what do we do? <laughs> Fix him. Daddy sewed a pom pom for his nose and new ears, right? Because this was this was mine when I was her age. So it's older than me. Yeah. <laughs> You're so brutal. <laughs> So this door is our bedroom. Come on in, guys. So the secret to a lovely marriage, if you can, is separate closets. We've That's right. At least for the two of us. So this is my dressing room, or as Nate likes to call it, my investment portfolio. Lots of shoes. I basically only wear this side, everything black. I like to think that I wear color, but it never really works out that way. Pops, can you pick out a fit? What, which one are your favorite shoes? These. That's not even true. What looks different about Daddy's closet today? Does it look like this all the time? Okay. It does? Yeah. It's not usually messy? No. Really? Oh, okay. We have different ways of organizing. Yeah, I'm organized. That's the difference. That is our bathroom, which um, was hand painted by a friend and artist, James Mobley. One of the things that was obviously really important to us is this idea of inside and outside. So we reached out to a dear friend of ours and he actually created this mural based on the trees uh, and the yeah, area. Yeah. Some of them are actually specific trees on the street, and we love it. It feels like you're in a tree house. That bath. That's Daddy's bath. Yeah, we love That's that right. bath. We can show you how to make snacks and ice cream. Snacks and ice cream. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. This kitchen, actually, we didn't really have to change that much because the layout was exactly what it was. And this island was exactly how it was. The same stone, even the same paint on the base. This kitchen, for whatever reason, the second we walked into it, it felt like the heart of the home, and it really is the heart of the home. Every morning, every evening, every moment. It makes it that much sweeter. Yeah. So this is really where we spend all of our time. And then over here, this is open to the family room on this side. This is really where we spend almost all of our time as a family and at night when we're done filming, when we're done working, when we're done doing all the things that we do. I lay here, Jeremiah lays here, and we watch Netflix. And what do you say? Thank you. Thank you and nice to meet you. See you later. See you later. See you later. What does daddy say to you? Go play in traffic. No. Let's See ya. Go play in traffic. Guys, thank you so much for coming, and um, I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of how we live. Let them go. They gotta go to other. They gotta stuff. go. They gotta go see, see other later. people's houses. Mm -hmm.